Sloss Tube, I'm Nicole and this is DD Sloss Tube Season 3, Episode 14. everybody and welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome welcome thank you so much for dropping by and sticking around and and having a look if you are new here um or if you've yet to subscribe but you're a returning viewer hit that subscribe button and a little bell icon beside it and then that way you won't miss out on any future posts all right so for the those that are new here this is a multi-craft channel basically i do a little bit of everything here i do sewing tutorials i do diamond painting uh we do cross stitch stitch with me book tube it's just a little bit of everything so basically any given day you can tune in and there's probably something new to watch all right so i have worked on a fair bit this week so last year i'm just going to get stuck right into it because i i don't have any new starts and i do not have any finishes um and i don't have any ffos although i do have a finish but it's a sewing finish and i'll show you that in just a moment so i have worked on one two three four five six seven projects this week um which is pretty good so that's pretty much a different one every day i have worked on uh, one or two a couple of times this week so um, I've got a little bit more progress in that so basically last year um, 2021 I started out the year doing challenges and then some stuff went on in my personal life and subsequently I didn't stitch as much as I normally would so over the course of the um, end of the year the last quarter of the year I was feeling like you know I really I did a lot more shopping than I did actually stitching um, I had uh, several starts throughout the year and all that sort of stuff. So I decided that I was going to do no new starts this um, this year. I was planning on doing it last year, but I just couldn't get myself to it. I've got to that point now where I just need to get stitches in. I feel very disappointed that I didn't get as much done. Now, I did get finishes last year and um, some f um, FFOs as well. There was a lot of stitching that was done not necessarily on my whips but on the magazine stuff and i'm still stitching on magazine stuff but um i'm a little bit ahead at the moment so and i'm trying to keep that way so i'm not chasing my tail as much so i can focus on doing um my whips and all the rest of it so the groups that i'm in are um no new starts where i'm doing their they've got a couple of tiers in there and they've got a travel event happening so i'm part of the travel event um their group is now closed for the year be, I, I believe so for the year or they may open it up in the middle of the year for for next year but basically you had to have your your whip album done and all the rest of it and they're the only whips across the board across all challenge groups that you can work on okay so Basically, I decided to go with work your, um, work your Whips because I am a model stitch for the magazine and I have to, I do have to start some new stuff throughout the year for the magazine. So I've got a, a couple of charts that I've got to get done. And um, so I am on that tier because that is the most flexible. So I will still remain in the competition of no new starts um, because I'm not planning on starting any new stuff. The only stuff that I may start in cross stitch wise is um stuff for the magazine so i know that i've got um i think i have 14 spaces to cover myself and i think i've overestimated possibly so um yeah we'll just see with that i also have a lot of embroidery stuff for the magazine so that doesn't count towards that so they'll get it getting um, a few new starts there so basically I'm working all my whips that I've got I've got six and I went through all of my whips I actually have in excess of 70 um, whips but I'm only working <laughs> I'm only working uh, 63 or 64 this year so um, yeah so you will see a lot of my whips this year but yeah they I'm using the challenges and so far they're working so um, there's just there was an event that um, popped up in the No New Starts uh, Travel League. We've all been like we have to stop at the campgrounds at the moment because there's 
turbulent weather and um, so basically we're all stuck there for six days and so they had a pop-up event but I didn't do the pop-up event last night because I had other things I had to get done so it's good that I can still pick and choose and so that's the main group that I'm working on I'm also at my set the the two equal ones are um, daily 30 and um, magical stitches so magical stitches have weekly and monthly um, challenges and so I'm working those as well so for the first week I've mostly just worked um, well I haven't done anything for magical stitches this week because their um, monthly one uh, their weekly one is falls on tonight's stitch so you won't actually um, see that until next week um, so I only have one chart a week to work on for that and then I've got whatever else I'm working on I can link to that um, mostly the one that I want to use for my um, for my monthly event in Magical Stitches is Red Dragon. So that I'm pretty much starting my Magical Stitches stuff tonight and onwards. So you'll see all those stitching um, in the next couple of weeks. And the other group that I'm in, as I said, is Daily 30. So at the moment, I have been doing in No New Starts the Zodiac, and I've also been doing um, Daily 30. They've got a, um, a snowman event happening at the moment now no new starts and daily 30 are closed for um joining so you'll hear me talking about it um and they only open it up uh, daily 30 only gets opened up once or twice a year for new members they have a very limited member number and i suppose that's just so it's an exclusive challenge group and the admin can keep control of it because i can imagine when you've got thousands of people in a group like the notifications must drive people mental i take my hat off to those admins that have all that happening with thousands of people but as i said i have worked on seven um since the first of january and um they have met all different sorts of prompts and, and whatnot. I'm not going to go through what the prompts are or anything like that, but these ones, if I remember what they are off the top of my head, I'll, I'll do that. So the first one I'm going to start with, which I'm still working a prompt for this, is I need to get 300 stitches into this um, for a sale in Daily 30. And um, so I chose to do um, Hello Dear. Uh, by Caterpillar Cross Stitch and you can see the picture up in the corner right now but I, I'm about halfway through I think I counted I'm about 140 stitches maybe a bit less I can't remember now but anyway I think I'm about an hour in so that's that's it there so last time you seen it um, this didn't have all the all the um, filling in in there and it didn't have its tail or its beak so we're, I've got that in I've, I think I've worked on it for about 50 minutes um, while chit chatting and all the rest of it so i've got to get 300 stitches into this one so that bird is going to look like that little guy there minus the holly um so that's got some stitches in it which i'm really happy about because we all know that these trees are my nemesis all right now i need to find somewhere to put this i'll just whoosh, over there <laughs> the next one that i worked on again this was for daily 30 as well um and this is called um, sleeping bee and I haven't worked on this for quite some time by the blue flower so that's what the chart looks like absolutely gorgeous and I've got a round um, I'm finishing in exactly the same way just in a different um, bowl basically I think that's like a, um, a box but I'll be finishing it the same way now I hadn't touched this for so long and I got and most of these I've just been doing hours I haven't been counting stitches um, and then after I'd done it I realized I've made a mistake so I've got a frog sign out so yeah anyway that's uh, sleeping bee so this is the top of the bee and I'm working the bottom part of the bee and you can see on the picture there that's what it'll look like so I'm down here down in this part here so I've only got a little bit left of its uh, bottom end and then I'll start working up here. But um, I'm stitching this on 40 count and I'm using CXC threads and it's 1 over 2. So it's very delicate. But I like it. But you can see, like I can see there's a mistake in here. So I'll just have to frog that out. Other than that, everything else looks okay. And I think it's because it's the linen. Like the, the um, it's tricky. <laughs> 40 count is tricky that's all I'm gonna say I do like it though like once you get into the swing of things it's okay like it's not that bad um, I do like it but that's not my first choice 
All right, the other one that I worked on, um, I had to stitch on something. I think this was for, um, I can't remember what this was for. Anyway, the next one I stitched on was Autumn Queen. I can't remember what the prompt was, so because it was early on in the week. So this is what the artwork is going to look like. I finally laminated it. Yay. Um, I shrunk it down a little bit because it's easier to handle. But um, yeah, so the artwork is by uh, Bridget Ashwood. It is uh, 575 by 718. So it's big and it's got 237 colours in it. I'm stitching this on 28 count, 10 stitch, uh, 2 over 1. All right, so uh, last time you've seen it, um, yeah, there's not much difference, but I've start, see, I'm starting to use these threads here. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of fill in at the moment. I have come, filled this, finished filling this in and come down and I've come across. So I am at the bottom of the page here and at the, um, at the page two break there. So I've just got to do, I want to get rid of these. So I'm slowly filling them in. And that's easier said than done, to be honest, um, <laughs> because there's not a lot of this colour in there. So um, there is a, a leaf just starting. You can just see that there. And um, I'll just put the thing behind it. So as I said, I'm doing 10 stitch on this one. But yeah, it's coming up really well. I love the coverage too. So yeah. So I've just, um, I had a whole heap of black strands. So I worked a lot of the black and then I did a lot of this brown all through here and up here as well. So, and those little stitches you can see there. Um, so yeah, I'm planning, this is this will get slated quite a bit. Um, I have a couple of prompts coming up that I have to stitch or something with a lady in it. So she will get some more work. Either this one or which way. All right, so that's that one. The next one that I um, worked on was Green Man by Doreen Jones. So that is what it's going to look like. It's very vibrant. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've got a um, Joan Elliott green, um, uh, green lady. So I'm going to sort of take the border from um, Joan Elliott's one and put it behind this and hopefully that'll work. Uh, it's the plan. So I did th this one I stitched on for Daily 30 and also for uh, No New Starts. So the prompt in you know, No New Starts was to stitch in green. <laughs> this met the brief. And then um, I also did extra stitches in uh, for... So I worked on this twice this week and I'll be getting work again tonight because it's actually slated down for magical stitches. Um, it was work on something that has saved you money and the lovely gail sent me up the floss for this because she had ample floss and she thought that i could use some and all the rest of it i was actually joking around but she did send me up the the floss for it she asked me to send it down so last time you seen it, i just had this dark part here and a little bit of this in here so i've added a couple of extra stitches in there and then i started filling in his what you would call eyebrows um so yeah so um got a few stitches in a few a few hours into that one um and i think i put 150 stitches in for the prompt because uh, there's no stitch count for the prompt so i just worked for an hour on it you know like every stitch helps and as you can see i've touched a lot of stuff and i've got a lot of stitches in so for the most part um for um daily 30 i'm just doing the hour Thing. so I just sit down for an hour or two hours well I'm actually doing 200 stitches so two hours equate to 200 stitches I'm actually getting more than 200 stitches in in that time because I in a lot of them I'm doing what is it journey stitching so or cross-country stitching so basically I just stitch the first part of the leg and then I come back and I can do that very quickly all right so the other one that I worked on and I've worked on this quite a bit because it has the snowman prompt so I've done it for daily 30 and I've also used it for my travel leg um, quite a bit in uh, no new starts so the one that I'm talking about is snow village and I also used it for my stitch with me on um, on Monday so <laughs> it's got a lot of love this week so the prompt was that we had to stitch something that had a snowman in it and that's this one i could have even i could probably even use it could have used this one for the sale and probably got this whole block finished but i didn't i decided to use um the other one so it is the um snowflake stand this one so that's what it looks like when it's finished and 
this is what I've got done so far. Now, excuse the red. I'm doing these all on one um, on one piece. Now, where is that? I've just got a piece of thread hanging all over the front, and it's very distracting. So I'll just pull that through to the back. All right. So this is what I've got done so far. So I'm stitching this on um, 18 count Ada and it is Lagoon is the colour. I do have it here somewhere. Let me just have a look. And I'm using the Call for Colours with this. This was actually a, um, oh I didn't write it down, but it is 16 count, sorry. Um, and it is Lagoon. So this is a DD's fabric. Um, it doesn't look... Um, oh, that's probably a true to colour, yeah. It's probably a little bit darker on camera, but that's what I've got done so far. Um, so all I've got left on this is the snowman and the snow down the bottom, and then I can move on to the next block. So this will be a cushion cover. Um, I think it's going to look brilliant when it's finished. There's some cute little charts. So yeah, I've just got the snow, a couple of little snowflakes, the snow and the snowman from down the bottom. So just do it along here. And that that's all I've got to go oh and the back stitch for snowflake sole here so yeah and um, I have got over 600 stitches in this um, in the last couple of days so I'm pretty happy with that because when I started this it only had the border up here done and so since the first of um, of January I've done the snowflakes the tree and all this in here oh, no. so that's that's not too bad for only a couple of those settings, um, sittings. It's pretty easy though because you can do the um, journey stitching really, really easy in this one. So when the next one starts, that'll just continue along across the top, and um, the borders will the borders will link up and, and create a nice little um, border across the top and and down the bottom, and then all the charts are in the center. It's going to look great as a as a cushion. I just figured. It's just way too many ornaments and considering I'm sort of now starting to you know get rid of stuff and all the rest of it the last thing I need is a whole room full of Christmas ornaments because I'm no Priscilla that's for sure all right the next one that I worked on um, and this was for um, actually I'll go with this one to get it out of the way um, this I used as my daily 30 um, and so I've stitched on and I've used it for no new starts in their zodiac challenge as well um, and so I have stitched on this 30 minutes a day for the last five days and this is where we're at all right you're gonna, I'm gonna disappear now oh everything's falling out of that all right okay so that's where I'm at so last time you seen it I was down here so when I started on the 1st of January that's where I got so I've done all that this week so that's some pretty dang good progress right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this has been slated for another challenge, a yearly challenge in um, Daily 30. So it will get a lot more stitches in it. I really want to get a lot of this done this year. Oh, look, my fingernails match. Beautiful. But I love how it's turning out. I, I was I was a little bit concerned that this was going to be one side red and one side grey but as it's stitching up a little bit because you can see here uh, we're starting to get a little bit more blended and it's looking absolutely fabulous. I've had to frog some out because I made a mistake a counting error but yeah I think it's looking absolutely fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It is huge. So all right I've got um, stuff falling everywhere. <laughs> So the next one that I worked on, and this was for Dee Dee's um, challenge. So this one is one of my least favorite charts. And um, <laughs> I had to put 300 stitches in it. It was a bingo prompt. And it is this one here. Uh, it's called Christmas in Quilt by um, Curio E. Batikiri. And I have already done this one. And I'm over here, so I've got a lot of the border up here done. Um, and the reason this is my least favourite is because I orientated the fabric the wrong way and so I've put all these stitches into it and I'm like a little bit scared that I'm going to get to the edge and there's not going to be enough but I think I've counted across I think I'm going to have enough room I'm just going to I was going to have this as a wall hanging so you can see I've got a lot of border there so I could have put it into a frame 
but it's not gonna I don't think I'm gonna have enough um, to do it so um, I thought well it'll just have to be a cushion instead so these can be all my Christmas cushions that just come out once a year so this is done on 14 count last time you've seen this I can fold that in half now last time you've seen this I um, I put a couple more bits in the border um, I had the wing done on the fairy um, or the angel or whatever she is she looks like a fairy to me <laughs> and so I finished I did her hat and I've come down in here so I've just started putting some white in as well um, but yeah she's coming along quite nicely and this is what she's going to look like it's not a very good picture I'm sorry but that's yeah that's where I'm at so it's quite a yeah so I've done this one and this is where I'm at here and I've brought this over and so I've got to still fit this one in here I've still got a little bit more to do of this border so I'm about here I think so I've still got that border to get across so my plan is this week to do the border and see where I'm at because as you can see the fabric should have went this way because it's longer this way um, but yeah I've orientated it wrong so I'm about yeah I've got that border should come to about there I think I counted um, yeah to there and then I've got to fit another a little bit bigger than this size over here so it'll probably by my calculations it should come to about there so I will have enough to sew a cushion but maybe not to frame it I'll have to wait and see because I like to have at least an inch all the way around so I think the best plan of action is just to do the border and then I'll see where I'm at and then it might become my favorite again because it is a cute little it is cute so I'm thinking if I just do the border all the way around I'll know where I stand um, so that's the sort of plan for that and um, I got, as I said I got 300 stitches in and that was for the DD's um, stitching challenge that we've got going it's a bingo so every Friday so tonight um, we roll the dice again and we'll have another prompt to work on so they're a weekly challenge and all the rest of it um, so while I'm talking about the um, weekly challenges we also have a sewing one over there for those that sew as well and this week's prompt was to make a pink cushion a pink cushion of your choice so basically everybody's gone on the hunt everyone's done something different which is absolutely fabulous um, a few people have posted their stuff some people are still working on theirs but that's okay um, they've got until tomorrow to, to finish working on it anyway um, so I decided that I was going to make a little sewing form and this is my little one that I did so I'm not in the competition or anything but I, I'm sewing along with everybody as well so yeah um, we have monthly giveaways so if you participate in any of our um, our challenges whether it be reading photography journaling or anything like that um, you get an entry in and um, basically at the end of the month I do a drawing and someone might win a fantastic someone will win a fantastic prize but that is my little dress form that's the first one I've made um, I got a little bit close with the pinking she's there so she's already got an injury but I even put a little necklace on her as well <laughs> so yeah the, and, and a whole, as, a, as you can see it holds the little apron holds scissors and we've got pins in there and so she's just going to sit up there she's definitely a um, ornament you can see her a bit better she's definitely an ornament but how quick is that I think this is the quickest floss tube I've ever done I don't have any haul um, plans basically just keep working the challenge groups and and um, as I said there was a pop-up one and I was going to do it but I ended up having to do other stuff so I just decided not to do that one which is fine um, but I'm still working the zodiac so I've still got a couple of prompts of that I've still got a pro couple of prompts on the snowman one to finish so the the sow and one that um, I'm trying to work out what I can I think I've got my chart that I'm going to work on for one of the prompts it is is that there's a passage there and we have to choose something that either matches a book a film or a video game out of the words that are in the above paragraph so yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to use my imagination there so basically if I can't meet it I'm just not going to worry about it um yeah so 
originally when I was doing the challenges, if I couldn't meet something, I'd start something new, but I'm doing no new sites, so I can't start something new. Um, I'm working on magazine stuff as well, which I can't show you, unfortunately, until the magazine comes out, so you only have to wait another five weeks for that, and then you'll be able to see them. Um, yeah, other than that, just working on um, all my plans, uh, all my uh, prompts and everything, and um, getting some stitches in, which is absolutely fabulous. I'm, I'm really, really happy with the progress. I feel like I've accomplished something with my cross stitch this week. Um, I have also been reading and, and doing that and doing journaling as well with um, DD's challenges and all that. But that is it for me this week. Short and sweet. Have a great week, everybody. Considering the state of our country at the moment with um, COVID and everything, please stay safe, everybody. I know I'm grounded for a little while until I can get my booster shot. Um, yeah, so just try and stay safe, everybody, and don't get caught up in all the, the madness that is. And I will talk to you all again very soon. For those that are doing the DD's Challenge, don't forget to check your um, events tab this week, because uh, tonight, because they are all up again. So have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you all again on Monday for uh, my booktube stitch with me. Bye for now.